Today I tried to learn how to Fruitberry Bridge, and this was the most painful video I've ever made. And if you don't know who Fruitberries is, he's a Minecraft YouTuber and streamer who's been blowing up recently for his amazing movement skills and his insane bridging methods. So he invented this method called the Fruitberries Bridge, where you basically just walk backwards over the void and place two blocks beneath your feet each jump. And this requires some insane timing and skill, and so lots of people have tried to perfect a method to do this perfectly. So I watched a tutorial by Sowo where he explains his method of doing the Fruitberries Bridge, and the main part of it is basically learning the rhythm of double clicking to place the blocks as you jump and tapping S to go backwards at the right time which I found really tricky to get down at first so I'll show you my attempts now. So I spent almost two hours trying to learn this Fruitberries Bridge without taking a break and yeah this was not a very fun time in the end so if you do enjoy this make sure to consider liking and subscribing because this video took so much effort. I hope it turned out alright and that you find it quite interesting. So basically I don't really play Minecraft PvP games like Sky Wars or Bed Wars where you have to learn all these bridging techniques so I've never even learned how to speed bridge so I'm the Minecraft noob trying to learn how to do this tricky bridge so it took me a while at start and I started off by just going straight into it and jumping up on a block and starting bridging and realized that was not going to work. I had no idea how to do the pattern of clicking so after that I started to try and get the pattern down with double clicking as you jump off to try and land on the blocks beneath you and I just wanted to do one jump without falling because at the start this was really tricky and eventually I got the timing down so I was starting to land on the two blocks but I couldn't keep going further I would just fall off after the next one so I just kept going at it and it took so long to do this and I had to keep practicing the rhythm and the timing to do the clicks. As you jump off the edge you have to click once as you go up and then again as you land to try and get both blocks placed in time and it's really scary because it looks like you're gonna fall off the edge at the last second. <laughs> there was also really annoying issues with like block lag where the blocks would be invisible or like not placed so that was kind of getting annoying but it wasn't happening too often. It only messed me up a few times like this but yeah I was really struggling to get the pattern down but eventually I managed to do two in a row and then fall off straight away but that was an achievement for me because I was getting close to doing it consistently. So I kept practicing and practicing for <laughs> ages and falling a bunch of times. Probably the most annoying thing is when I fell off, sometimes it wouldn't register me double jumping to fly and I would just fall so far down and it takes ages to get back up. But I kept going even though this was painful to do and it was getting really tedious and I also was just doing this in silence. I don't know why I didn't think to watch a video while I did it. Eventually I did over an hour into this which I could have watched a whole film while recording. I was getting better at the pattern and I tried practicing it a few times where I didn't like try and do it. I just ran along the blocks jumping and tapping S to go backwards each time to try and get the muscle memory for it and then I tried it while placing blocks on top of the bridge instead of off the edge. I was starting to get two in a row more consistently which was really good progress even though it had been like half an hour by now. At the start I was finding it really difficult to tap S. I kept double jumping instead and flying uh, and like tapping space instead of S when you're meant to hold down the space bar. I just couldn't get my thumb and finger to do it right. It was really weird. I was learning eventually. So yeah, it did help to just practice on the bridge for a while without actually going straight into the jumps. After a while, I was actually getting some good ones, like three in a row and four in a row even, and I was really happy with that. And after about an hour, I did this really long one, which I think was 14 blocks long and that was actually the longest one I do. I was very happy with that, but it did take a while to get there. I also tried switching to diamond blocks, and on my first try with a diamond block, I went really far. So I decided to keep going diamonds, because I thought maybe like the noise of them placing helped me with the rhythm or something. Then I even tried gold blocks, and they worked quite well on my first try as well. Every time I switched block, it seemed like I was going really far, and I tried it with iron as well, and that worked again. After almost two hours of this, I was starting to do it more consistently, and I felt better about it, and yeah, I just gave up in the end because I couldn't get it down like I couldn't get loads in a row like Fruitberries does after all he is like the master of this um so I didn't think I was going to get that much better and I accomplished the challenge I set myself to try and learn it consistently and get quite far with it I was really happy with the long 14 block one but yeah I just couldn't replicate it after so long and I had to go back to sleep I was really tired and I took a long six hour nap before I came back and did this recording and editing um, so yeah, it definitely drained me a lot to make this video. But yeah, if you're learning to do the speed bridge, make sure to check out, like, tutorials first, otherwise it it's really confusing like how to do it and how to start. I still couldn't just run straight into it like Fruitberries does in a Skywars game. I don't know how he does that. He just has insane movement. Good luck trying this. I hope it doesn't take you as long as it took me because your mind will just melt. Uh, yeah, you might lose a few brain cells over it. Leave a comment saying how long it took you to learn it or if you're trying. Hopefully you enjoyed this video about bridging. I am definitely not wanting to become a speed bridger and learn all the weird techniques because they're, they're too much effort for me. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.
Thank you.